Each hunting dog has its own unique style on flushing the bird. For Brittany's, pointing comes naturally. The beginning stage is to tie a string around the top of the wing of a pheasant and make the dog point, not just run after it. And once you move it, be sure to pull it away before the dog can grab it. Even though the string is very short, sometimes the dog will be too fast for you, so you just take the wing out of his mouth and start again. It's something that I've done since I was like five years old. I'm into that bird hunting stuff, so, and it's always nice to hunt over a good dog. Yes, it is, which is why you should work with the dog every day for at least 10 minutes. Plus, after that, the puppy's mind will wander and he won't be able to focus as good. And one of the most important steps is to get the pup out into the field and let him find some birds for himself and follow the essential instructions of a great trainer. We have Rusty, who's a, you know, a 12 week old Brittany puppy, uh, pointing dog. Uh, we took him out, we allowed him to use his nose to locate a couple birds. Uh, you saw that uh, on the first one, he, he, he smelled the bird, he started working in, got a little too close. We flew the bird, let him chase a little bit to get him excited and introduce him to the, uh, the whole thing. Oh. Rusty, hey, here bud. Good boy, no bird come. Good boy, Russ. He's just one of the best trainers that I know. I trust him a lot. He knows a lot about dogs. And it'll be a pleasure to uh, hunt over him and uh, have a lot of fun. It's always fun when it's a man, his rifle, and his puppy, which is why it is extremely important to keep the dog from chasing after birds since there is a high chance of missing. Rusty got a little anxious when he saw someone walking at his bird, so he jumped but stayed once the gun went off. With Missy, what we saw was uh, you're seeing a finished dog. Uh, the, the, actually, the end result where Rusty's headed. Um, she located the birds on scent. Um, she stays on point, allows us to walk in front, uh, kick around, uh, gives us plenty of time to flush the bird. As the bird flies, a shot is fired. fly off so the dog needs to stand still until we give her another command either to fetch a, uh, a dead bird or to continue hunting by no bird coming on the field. Another step is for the puppy to just watch as we like to call the chain gang effect where he sees what needs to be done from the other highly trained dogs. Even though you can tell he is not very fond of it, it is vital to the process. Uh, with Tickle, who's a flusher retriever, um, it's a little bit more, uh, you know, control based. We need the dog to to stand still uh, and, and mark the birds that are being shot. Whether you're duck hunting or pheasant hunting, if he sees a bird out and it's flying and it's shot and drops, he needs to mark that bird in his mind uh, and then go on command. The bird. straight out to that bird, pick it up, and bring it back to us and present it to us in a nice fashion. And guess what, Pavlov? It's not dead yet. Positive reinforcement is the best way to gain a trust and respect from your dog in order to have great camaraderie while hunting. The last step to getting your dog fully acquainted with hunting is to let him run around and socialize with the other hunting dogs.